So Alice and I are going to start practicing his walking outside today. Um, we're going to work on our positioning, working on our manners, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm looking for when I'm walking Atlas, I'm going to keep my arms nice and relaxed at my side. If I need to tug on my leash at all, I'm just going to pull my arms straight up to my chest and then relax it. Um, he should keep his head in line with my legs as we're walking. He should turn when I turn. Um, and I'm always, um, with him on my left side, I'm always going to make right hand turns away from Atlas. So he has to come around the outside of the turn. It's usually a little bit easier of a turn to make in the beginning. And anytime that he's doing a great job, I've got my treats on me in my pouch and I'll give him a nice snack for it. Um, but I'm not like dangling the treats in front of him, baiting him into good behavior. I'm giving to him after he's done something that I'm looking for. So if he has five or six really nice good steps by my side, that's when I'll provide him with the treats. Also when we're walking, um, I'm going to be picky. I want Atlas's head up. I don't want him sniffing around on the ground. I need him paying attention to me. And if his nose is buried in the grass, he's not looking and paying attention to me. So head needs to be up when we're walking and I need a little bit of eye contact. Watch me. What am I doing? Where am I going? Um, he can't stay in a heel position with you and walk nicely if he's never going to look at you. Right, Bubba? Let's go. The other thing that I'm going to teach Atlas is something called automatic sits. That means that anytime that I stop walking, Atlas should sit down. So he did it right there without any prompting or any help. Turned him snack a little bit of kibble. Good. Good. And that's our walking. 